In this video, I'm going to show you how to verify your custom domain in System.io, as well as how to set up and verify your sending email address in System.io. So then this will enable you to send newsletters as well as set up email automations. So let's get into it and I'll show you how to set this up. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is log into System.io and then come to the top right corner, click on the settings, and then on the settings page, come to the left sidebar menu, click on emails, and that will bring you to this page here. Now on this page, we've got this section here, which is where we're going to set up and verify our domain name. And then here is where we're going to set up and verify our sender email address. So let's start with the domain section. Right here, we can see it says click here to authenticate your domain. So let's click on this link here. And now here it's asking us to enter our domain name and then click save. And now we can see here it says pending status. So under the DNS settings, what we need to do is click on this little eye icon. And now system.io is going to give us some DNS records for us to set up. But what we need to do here is take these DNS records and then hook them up to our custom domain inside our domain registrar. So for me, I've currently got my domain name set up in Namecheap. You might have it in GoDaddy or some other place, and that's fine because the setup process is still exactly the same. So at this point, head over to your domain name registrar where your domain name is hosted. And now here is mine in Namecheap. I'll come over to the right hand side and click on the manage button. And now from here, we need to click on advanced DNS. And now in this section here is where we can add our records from system.io to our domain. So first of all, we're going to head back over to system.io and get our first record. So the DNS record type is a C name. Under name, we need to copy this first part just up until the dot, but not including that dot. And then copy this, come back over to Namecheap. Now we're going to click on add new record. I'm going to scroll down and select C name record. And then under the host is where I'm going to paste that first part of the record in. Go back to system.io and then under value is I'm going to copy everything on this side. Come back to Namecheap, paste it in where it says target and click on the check button to save the changes. Now we need to go and get the second record. So again, it's another C name. So this time we need to again copy just this first part of this record here up to that dot, but not including that dot. And then click on add new record choose C name and then enter this under the host section and then back in system.io under value we need to get everything on this side copy come back to Namecheap and paste it in under the target and then click on the check button to save our record now we need to go back a third time and we've got another C name record here so again we're going to do exactly the same thing copy the first part of the record up until but not including that dot and then head back over to Namecheap add a C name record for a third time enter that first part in underneath the host then in system.io under value again I'm going to copy everything on this side so now I'm going to place this in this section here in Namecheap which says target click on the check mark to save the changes at this point system.io is also asking us to add a DMARC record now just so you know now DMARC record is very important to also help with your email deliverability so it's important to set this up but before I do that if I head back over to Namecheap I was going to show you here, I already have a DMARC record set up for this domain name. And I'll tell you why that is in a minute. So if this is a brand new domain, you probably won't have any of these four records set up at all yet. And that's totally fine. But in a minute, I'll tell you why I've got these records set up and how they further improve my email deliverability. But let's just for now assume there's no DMARC record set up here. What you would need to do is for the DNS record type, you would need to set up a TXT record, first of all, and copy first part of the record. So back in Namecheap, where you'd add new record from the drop down, instead of CNAME record, you'd select a TXT record and then you would paste that first part under the host. And then this is very important under the value by default, you'll see there's a drop down here at the end of your DNS record. So by default, this record here is going to say at the end mail to and then a colon and then it's going to be the email address you use to sign up for your system.io account which in most cases is probably not the email address you're going to be using to send your emails via system.io. For example, I set up this account with a Gmail address, so I definitely don't want to use that as my business email, sending email newsletters to my customers. So just be aware of that. You need to select from the drop down the correct email address. And if it's not yet appearing here, which it's not for this one, because this domain here I'm actually connecting is this domain, steve-west.co. But that domain, because it's not verified yet, is still not appearing in this drop down. So what I would need to do in this case is copy this record and then I'm going to put it into a text document here. If I paste it in. Now you see this email address at the end is not the correct one. I'm going to be wanting to send emails from. So you delete this and then enter the email address you're actually going to be using with this specific domain name to send emails. So in this particular case, it would be steve at steve-west.co. 
So if I show you back on here, this is the domain we're setting up. So then therefore, this now will be your DMARC record that you would enter in here as your value. And as you can see, I already have a DMARC record set up for this domain, and that is exactly the DMARC record system.io was trying to get me to set up. They just had the wrong email address in there. So please double check that and make sure the correct email address is going to be in there. Got to match whichever domain you're setting up. So I hope that makes sense. So as you can see here, now this DMARC record is this same one that I typed out here. So now for me personally, I'm just going to delete this TXT record because I do already have it set up here. But if you don't, just please follow those instructions and then add your TXT record to include your DMARC record. And then at that point, you've completed the first part of this tutorial to authenticate your domain. Now, just to let you know, these are the records here at the top. What they relate to is I have currently set this email address up, or sorry, this domain name. I've set it up to send emails via Google Workspace. And then I've also connected this domain now to my system.io account. So this means I can send emails via Google Workspace. So basically Google Workspace is like a Gmail, but with more advanced features and more trusted servers, which is the important part, the trusted servers, which I'll tell you about in a minute. And then now, because I've added these CNAME records in, with system.io, I can also send email newsletters and set up email automations using this domain and to send emails from. So the reason I've gone this extra step is because I've now associated this domain with a Google Workspace account, I'll also be using Google Workspace's highly trusted servers, which will further give a boost to your domain reputation, improving your domain trust, and therefore helping to even further enhance your email deliverability. So now, of course, that is an additional step. It's not 100% necessary, but I do highly recommend it, especially if you're really serious about this business. And if this is your primary business, you're trying to build a good reputation and you want to do everything you can to improve your email deliverability and ensure that the majority of your emails land in your customers' inboxes as much as possible, then I would recommend take this step. So if you do want to do this extra step, then I do have a couple of step-by-step -step tutorials on my channel to show you exactly how to set this up. So the first short video you'll watch is this one here I'm showing on the screen now, and that will show you how to set up your Google Workspace account. And then the second video after that is another short tutorial, which is this one here I'm showing on the screen right now, and that will show you how to set up these extra records. So they're both very short tutorials, and I've linked both of them in the description below this video, so they're easy for you to find if you want to take this extra step. Now, with that said, regardless if you're going to do this or not, let's head back to system.io. You have just now set up these records for system.io. So this first part is all good, and you'll see under the domain section, under status, it says pending. Now, this can take up to 48 hours. So you're going to want to come back to your system.io account, come back to this section under settings, under email, and then within the next 24, 48 hours, you should see the status has switched to verified. If after 48 hours, it's still not saying it's verified for whatever reason, then that case, you may have set up your DNS incorrectly. So if you click on this little eye icon, you can then pull up your records again and then just go back to your domain registrar and just check you've got the records in exactly correctly how you're supposed to. Okay, and now that said, next part is to set up and verify your email address. So here under email addresses, now click this link that says click here to confirm your email address. Click on here. And now here is where we can enter our email address, the one we want to use to send emails via this domain. And now if I click on save, what's going to happen is under status, we can see it says pending. So what has happened now, system.io has sent us an email to this email address just to confirm that we do actually own this email address. So head over to your email inbox and here is the confirmation email from system.io. And now here it's asking us to verify the email address. Click on the link here, click on the button to confirm. And now it says successfully confirmed. So if I head back now to my system.io account, currently it's saying pending. If I refresh the screen, that should have changed to say verified and it has. So now the email address is verified and all good to go. So that's it. That's how you can verify your domain in system.io as well as set up and verify your sending email address all ready for you to send your marketing emails via system.io. Now, if you want to take those extra steps I mentioned and also connect your domain to a Google Workspace account to then enable you to use Google's trusted servers to further improve your email deliverability, then watch this short tutorial here and I'll talk you through the process. Then after that, you just need to watch this short tutorial just to help you connect all the dots to make sure you're firing all cylinders. Now, if you've got value out of this video, then please do like, share and subscribe. It really helps my channel out a lot and I really appreciate it.